Diatomic Molecules and Mr. Brinklehoff. This is another Chemist Try video. There are certain elements found on a periodic table that do not exist by themselves. They are found as either a gas or a liquid, and this is always at standard temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius. These are known as diatomic molecules since they exist in pairs of atoms. Dia meaning two, atomic meaning atoms. So there are two atoms put together. Here is the list of the diatomic molecules. Now in my little program here I could not squeeze the number two down without squeezing all of it so you'll just have to look at these things here as being small. So this would actually be Br with a subscript of two. Okay iodine with a subscript of two. So they're all just subscripts of two because there's two of them together. Bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine always exist in this. So when you're working with a reaction statement and having to develop a chemical equation, you would want to remember these elements as the ones that would always exist in a diatomic state or two of them put together. This is extremely important, otherwise you will not be able to balance the chemical equation. Now there is a mnemonic for this, and this mnemonic is Mr. Brinkelhoff. Because if we take a look at this Brinkelhoff, you'll notice that there is bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So all of the elements are there that exist in a diatomic state. So all you have to tell yourself is Mr. Brinkelhoff. And when you're reading a reaction statement, if you see any of these that exist in their natural state, then you would want to write them as a subscript of two because they would exist in a diatomic state. Now here's a little practice. The reaction statement says we have gaseous hydrogen is combined with gaseous nitrogen to form liquid ammonia. So when we write this, we would want to say, okay, first of all, I have, yeah, let's get rid of that. I've got hydrogen, and I've got nitrogen. So I'm going to write hydrogen plus nitrogen creates ammonia. And ammonia symbol is NH3. Now, I've got these two elements sitting here, but I want to remember Mr. Brinkelhoff, okay? And are they part of Brinkelhoff? And I can immediately see right off the bat that yes, here's the hydrogen and here's the nitrogen. So they exist in a diatomic state. So I need to put the subscripts down here as this nature. Then if I'm going to go ahead and balance this chemical equation, which remember at your stage now, every chemical equation needs to be balanced. I start with my hydrogens, I got two over here, I got three over here. Easiest way to do that is just to swap it. So I'll take the three and put it over here, and I'll take the two and put it over here. So then I say, okay, I've got three times two is six hydrogens, two times three is six hydrogens. I have two nitrogens, I have two nitrogens, I'm now balanced. Okay, review this as many times as possible, just remember the term Mr. Brinkelhoff, and as always, bring any questions to class that you can think of, and never, ever, ever give up.